Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Noah from TechnoBuffalo.com, and Sprint's first Windows 7 phone, the HTC Arrive, just arrived. Get it? Or arrived? <laughs> yeah, that's not funny. Let's get it out of the box. All right, here it is, the HTC Arrive, the first uh, Windows 7 phone for Sprint, first CDMA Windows 7 phone, I believe. Uh, it is available March 20th for $199.99 on two-year contract after rebate. You can pre-order it now from Sprint if you so choose. It's made by HTC. Here's the phone. We will uh, hit the power button, and while it's powering up, show you what's inside the box. Thanks to the folks at Sprint for lending us the device. They did not send it to us to keep. We did not purchase it. It's a review loaner that we will be sending back. In the box you get the uh, getting started guide, the manuals, your um, your mailer for recycling your old, old phone. Uh, please recycle your old gadgets when you're done with them uh, or you know if you can donate them or sell them do that as well um, especially right now with what's going on in the world in, in Japan and, and Japan's really not the only place in need of, of some aid but definitely you know a, a huge devastating uh, event still unfolding over there uh, you know Donating your old stuff can really help somebody else out if you take the time to find out how. Uh, and if not, then please recycle it. Anyway, there you go. Off the soapbox, but it's important. Also in the box, you get a stereo headset, 3.5mm headphone jack uh, in line. You get your USB cable for data and charging, and then your modular um, power adapter. So here's the phone itself. It's got a 3.6 inch WVGA display, HTC T7575 as it's otherwise known, but you can just call it the Arrive if you like. And then uh, we'll get this stuff off the back here so we can show you around. Let's get started. Windows Phone 7, uh, we'll just go, we'll go customize. Uh, so on the front, you've got your touchscreen display. You've got uh, three capacitive touch buttons down at the bottom. On the left spine, you've got a rocker switch for plus minus volume. You've got your USB port. On the right spine, there is a camera button. The camera will snap photos even while the phone is locked, or so I've been led to believe. Uh, also up top, headphone jack, power switch. On the bottom, just a microphone port. On the back, 5 megapixel camera, autofocus, flash, 720p HD video capture. You've got the, uh, the brushed metal there. And then the phone slides open. It's got kind of the slide and tilt. Uh, so HTC has been doing this kind of thing for a while. And uh, I've always been a fan of HTC's keyboards. Um, and we first saw this design you know, way back on the, uh, the HTC tilt. We've seen it in a bunch of different uh, incarnations since then. Oh, I think my battery might be be powering down. It said critical, so I'm going to have to plug it in. Uh, but you've got the five-row HEC keyboard, uh, pretty familiar from uh, starting with the uh, Touch Pro a while ago. Um, get a separate line for numerical keys, which is nice. Dedicated backspace key, your dedicated function, speed, function key, double wide space bar, uh, emoticon key, uh, some symbol keys, shift key with shift lock, um, I believe it has shift lock. Actually, I should double check before I go saying that, but I believe it's shift lock. Um, there you go. I'm, again, I'm, I'm a big fan of HTC's keyboards in general. Excited to try this one out. All right, we're back, plugged into uh, the outlet there. I thought I could sneak through the uh, whole unboxing with whatever power was in the phone when it arrived. But uh, arrive, get it? <laughs> um, but I guess not. Anyway, so it's got uh, the device has 16 gigs of internal memory, internal storage, and also has um, a one gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor inside. Not a dual core, not you know whatever, just a one gigahertz single core, which you know frankly um, I think is more power than a lot of people realized. But it's also pretty easy to get caught up in well dual cores here now. What I want single core. So, you know, I get it. But anyway, yeah. So, uh, you know, all the Windows services, we're not going to do that right now. Um, the, um, the live tiles, the Xbox integration, you know, all this stuff. Obviously, the UI is not yet um, designed to rotate. So there's a couple of Windows Phone devices that are side sliders now. And your home screen, you know, doesn't rotate. Part of the sign-up process rotated, but the home screen UI does not rotate. 
I'll tell you what, epic unboxing, you know, battery life issues, whatever, but I don't want to wait for the battery to charge. I want to just get this out to you so you can check out the Arrive. Uh, anyway, as we were saying, 1 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, uh, 16 gigs of internal storage, 802.11bgn Wi-Fi. Um, you know, I really like Windows Mobile 7 in general, and so I'm excited to play with this with the different hubs going on and the Xbox Live integration and all that stuff. Um, but those, those updates, the copy and paste, the other updates have to hit soon uh, for Windows Phone 7. Um, and, and the Nokia deal, you know, hopefully uh, getting Nokia's muscle behind the hardware end of things will help as well. But, um, you know, you've got the whole Office Hub with all the Office um, OneNote and the, you know, mobile Office apps and all that kind of stuff, but you can't cut and paste in the operating system, and that's kind of a drag. Anyway, uh, we'll get more into Windows Phone 7 and a full review of this device, but for now, I'm excited to check it out. Um, I've played before with a couple of the other Windows Phone 7 devices, including the HTC Made. Uh, what was that one called? The um, Not the Focus. The Focus was the Samsung, the Surround with the slide-out speakers. And I was really waiting for uh, to get my hands on a Windows Phone 7 device with a full keyboard. LG has one, but I haven't uh, had the chance to really have one of those. But now I have one. I'm psyched to try it out. Again, uh, you know, too bad the UI doesn't rotate, but, you know, baby steps, I guess. It's the HTC Arrive Windows Phone 7 for Sprint. And HTC made hit Sprint on March 20th, $199.99 on contract after rebate. Uh, you can pre-order now if you like. And we'll have much, much more on this device on the video channels as well as over on technobuffalo.com and on the Facebook page and on Twitter and, uh, you know, anywhere else. If you, if you run into me at the Oakland, Oakland Zoo, I'll, I'll tell you what I think of the phone so far. I'll probably even have it on me. Till next time, my name's Noah. Thanks for watching. The Arrived is departing. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.